Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics School YouTube channel. This is session 4 in Base Test Programming series. In the last session, we had learned how to read raw data from external data source using list input style in SAS. And we know that default delimiter for list input is blank. What if, if you have delimiter other than space, such as tab, comma, or colon? One can read such files with using in-file options in SAS. Let's see what are those options. In the in-file statement, we can use DLM option to read raw data from external data source which have delimiters other than blank, tab, comma, or colon. And apart from that, we are also going to learn about the DSD option. Uh, the full form of DSD option is delimited sensitive data. And we will learn the functionalities of the DSD option. And we will learn how to use DLM and DSD option together to read messy data. Now we are going to write a SAS program to read raw data from external data source, which has colon as a delimiter. Let's see our data first. As you can see in our data set, we have colon as a delimiter. Now let's read the data set. Before that, we are going to create a permanent library and we will save the data set in that permanent library. Let's write the SAS program using DLM option to read colon delimiter file. So here you can see that we are able to successfully read the raw data from external data source which has colon as a delimiter. If we had used conventional list input style statement, then we are not going to read this raw data and we are going to get an error. Let's see that. So here you can see that when I haven't used DLM option in in-file statement, then we are not getting our output data properly. And you can see in a log option that it is not reading the data properly and it is mentioning the, that there is an invalid data for sales in line number 2, 1, 13 and, and you can go through this. So DLM option help us to read raw data from external data source which has colon as a delimiter or comma as a delimiter or any other thing can be used as a, as a delimiter. So let's, let's do one more example using DLM option and see how can we read data if it is having any other thing as a delimiter. Let's change our data and see that. Here you can see that we have changed our delimiter from colon to an end symbol. And we are now going to read this file with a DLM option having delimiter as an and symbol. So you can see that even if we have a delimiter which is an and symbol, we are able to read this file successfully. If we haven't used delimiter option, then we are not going to read this data properly. So that is the benefit of using DLM option in SAS. DSD is a very useful in-file option. It performs several functions. Number one, it changes the default delimiter from space to comma. Number two, if there are two delimiters in a row, it assumes it is a missing value. Number three, if the character value is in quotes, then the quotes are stripped from the value. Till now we had seen that we are not able to read non-standard data and any character value which are in quotes are called as non-standard data and DSD option help us to read the data which are in quotes. Let's see few examples that how we can read these type of the data through DSD option. Let us start doing few example using DSD option. Before that, let's create a permanent library by using libname statement. And we are also going to create a file reference using file name option. Till now, we had seen that within the in file statement, we place the actual file name within quotes to specify a raw data file. 
An alternate method which I prefer is to use a file name statement to identify a file and use it as a reference which is known as a file reference. This is very handy when you are using a particular file multiple times within your session. So before going to use an in-file option DSD, we are going to see the data and going to see a basic list input style program and see what type of the issues we are going to have without using the DSD option. So let's see our data first. So DSD underscore marks is a file where you can see that there are few names and then there are few marks like 50, 68, 75 for maybe for mathematics, science, social studies. Then there is another student named Kiran. His marks are there. Ryan, his marks are there. David, his marks are there. Naro, his marks are there. You are seeing that the character data is in inverted commas and the delimiter is not a space. It is a comma. And now we are going to read this file using DSD option. But before that, we are going to use conventional method of using list input style and going to see that what type of the issues we are going to face when we read the data without using DSD option. As you can see that when we are using a list input style, we are not able to read the raw data properly. Let's check a log window also. And here you can see in the log window that it is giving us an error. And whenever the SAS gives an error, it gives you a value of underscore error equal to one. Otherwise, if it is correct, if it is reading the data correctly, then it is going to show it as underscore error is equal to zero. We are going to learn all this stuff when we will have a session on programming data vector. Let's go to our program and use the DSD option and then check our data. So now in this program, you can see we have used DSD option and our output data is showing everything correctly the way we want. Let's go and see our data once again. So here you can see in the txt file, basically our character data is in inverted comma. Delimiter is not a space, it is comma. And we are reading such type of the data using DSD option. We had seen that when we hadn't used the DSD option, we were getting error and SAS was not reading the data properly. When we had put up the DSD option, we are able to read the data properly. Let's go to a log window. Here you can see that the data has been read properly. The ma minimum length record is 15, maximum record length is 17, and you are not seeing any weird stuff here. I have made some changes in our file dsd underscore marks dot txt. As you can see, that delimiter is not comma anymore. It, the delimiter is now dollar sign. And there are some missing data. As you can see, there are two consecutive delimiters here. Let's try to read this data in SAS. Let's try to read this data set by using DLM option. Since I have used a file name statement and created a file reference in DSD, I do not have to mention the path every time in the in file statement. I can just write in DSD and go ahead with our program. We have run this program and we are seeing our output. As you can see, the data has not been read properly. Let's check a log window. As you can see in the log window, we are getting underscore error underscore is equal to one. It means we are not able to read the data properly. Let's see our data once again and try to understand that why we were not able to read this data properly. You can see in the data set, we have delimiter as a dollar sign. Character variable is a non-standard character variable. And then we know that when we use a list input style, the missing data should be mentioned by a period. Here, there are two consecutive de delimiters. So that is the reason why with the use of the DLM option, we were not able to read this data properly. Let's try to read this data 
with the DSD option. When we use only the DSD option, we are not able to read the data properly. The first reason is the delimiter is not comma. When we use DSD option, the default delimiter is comma. Since here the delimiter is dollar sign, we are not able to read the data properly. And you can check your log window also that what are the issues are here. You can go through it. And so how we are going to read this data? We can read this data by using DLM and DSD option together. Let's see how we are going to read this data. Now here you can see that we are able to read the data correctly. Let's see our data first and then try to verify with our output data. So here you can see that Dona is a non-standard data. So we cannot use DLM option. We need to use DSD option. But the delimiter is not comma. It's a dollar sign. So we need to use DLM option to change our delimiter from comma to a dollar sign. And then you can see that there are two consecutive delimiters. And as we know, when we use DSD option, it helps us to read two delimiters in a row as a missing value. So we can use DSD and DLM option in conjunction and can read this data successfully. Let's check our log window also. In log window, there is no issue has been mentioned. It has been run successfully. This is an end of session four in base as programming series. Guys, if you like this video, then please do like and subscribe us. Thank you so much. Have a great day.